Welcome back, everybody, to another Stephen the Third of Moldova. Last time we finally got rid of the last yoke, but uh, now we're going to be going to the Battle of Vaslui, and uh, yeah, this is probably going to be another two-part scenario. And this time I'm going to probably cut it at like maybe thirty-five-ish minutes. Uh, Wallachia had been under Radu's rule since Dracula left. I needed to support a nobleman to overthrow this guy, and as long as I can control Wallachia, then I can ensure the safety of Moldova. However, things did not go as I wished. Mehmet II, who conquered Constantinople, threatened to send a large army to invade Moldova and sent messengers to ask to hand over two cities. Just as I was at a loss, the Sultan Uzan Hassan of Ak. Koyunlu dynasty sent an envoy to Moldova, who were also at war with the Ottoman Empire. My wife's sister was married to Uzun Hassan, so we were close enough uh, relationship that he said he would keep Mehmed II in the east, and I needed to keep the Ottoman army in the west. He said that he would hold Mohammed in the east, and okay, yeah. Uh, although I, such, such a request is difficult for me, the arrogant Ottomans uh, sent their Suleiman Pasha to attack Moldova. Their army soon approached the vicinity of the, uh, Vaslui. I knew that there is a dangerous valley and swamp there. I decided to destroy them the uh, only way, uh, and, and Vaslui could not fall. Otherwise, the whole of Moldova would be in jeopardy. I believe the Ottoman army would be trapped in this cold winter, just like the Hungarians at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Kuyunlu envoy. The envoy of Akuyunlu is here. Uh, dear Prince Stephen, I am here in order of Huzan Hassan, who's hoping that we will fight against the Ottoman Empire. Of course, we have also reached an agreement with other countries that express their willingness to work on to eliminate the threat of the Ottomans. Our queen asked me to greet your wife, hoping she is safe and sound. Thank you, and you're, uh, okay. The Ottoman Empire has been exerting influence and stuff, and... Didn't come empty-handed. We get some gold. Thanks, guys. You're real swell. Uh, let's go. Just see what Basarab Lyota plans on doing. Oh. Take Stephen III to meet Basarab Lyota. Uh, you don't take over v Vaslui at first. You need to go to Wallachia to solve some local problems. Uh, okay. You can increase the number of troops finding, um, uh, okay. Uh, although Basra Blayota will also send someone to attack Radu III with you, he will eventually take back his soldiers. When fighting the Turks in the valley, try to attract the Turkish army to a place with relatively narrow terrain, which can reduce your losses, but also pay attention to the Janissary and Spahi cavalry. Okay. Uh, take the Moldovan terrain bonus, and please note that Basra Blayota is not a reliable ally. Okay. Currently in Vaslui, uh, we're meeting the envoy. Basra Blayota is a nobleman of Wallachia. Since Dracula is currently under house arrest in Hungary, Stephen needs the support of uh, Voivod of Wallachia. Before that, he needs to overthrow Radu III. Radu III became Voivod of Wallachia with the support of the Ottoman Empire. Uh, okay. The Turkish army is led by Hadim Suleiman Pasha. Vaslui is hanging around. He's got... The Pasha has an army. There are Moldovan, Moldovan villages. Uh, okay, so we get gold and elite cavalry. Uh, from the envoy. Well, let's go say hi to Basra Blayota. He's the guy we fought in the final Dracula scenario. Sogdian Cataphract. Hello, piggies. Alrighty. They did say we could find some friendos in, like, the, uh, the hills and stuff. So we'll see if we can take advantage of that. Uh, Moldovan Militiamen, with your rather unremarkable stats. Basra Blyota is the Wallachians, although it says they're Slavs. 
Oh, I'm totally gonna steal your pigs. Get wrecked, nerd. Uh, you're finally here. My esteemed Prince Steven, Radu has driven us here since you received the support of the Ottomans. Our currently military strength is not enough to compete with him. Boss Rabbi, I came here in person to solve this problem. Anyway, we'll lock him and Lova share the same ancestor. As long as you and I can work together, we can oust Radu and uh, defeat the Ottomans. I believe in you, Prince. I have a few people under my command and hope I can bring you some small help. That's enough. Uh, okay, let's go destroy Radu's army. Oh, yeah, some cap trams. So Basrab Lyota went from being the Ottoman puppet to Radu the Third. Everyone's just a puppet of the Ottomans these days, man. Anyway, we have a big old army here. Ooh, it's the Ramnichu Sarat Castle. Okay, Basarab Leota can also not be killed. Duh. Wait, Roger the Third's our ally? But. Wait, what? Roger the Third. Okay, so that's confusing. Are you also a friend? No, you are not a friend. And I mean, yeah, I You can't escape today. Wahaha. -ha. Uh, I think this is a good fight for us. So I'll have to fight through more of them, though. I mean, we have some fully upgraded paladins. Okay, now we're busting on in. Okay, let's not get too far ahead of our army. But no, don't go back. Okay, again. Let's back up. Um, okay, that has eight range. All right, we're going in deep and we're going in hard. Fight you to the death! Yeah, you have a lot of armor, my main man. Good old 1310 armor. I actually lost a little Steven. I am not reconciled. Ugh, I have no choice but to run away. What? I, I killed him! <laughs> Uh, Vlaki gained independence again. Lyota, I filled my promise to you. I hope you can fight me uh, as well in the days to come. Um, okay. Messenger of the Ottoman Empire came here at this time. I'm afraid it's not going to be a good thing no matter what. You have to go back first. Uh, back to Vasily. See what the ivory of the Ottoman... Uh, I don't know. So I guess we helped Basarab Lyota take back Vlachia. Wallachian Servants is now Cyan. So yeah, the Solgdi and Cataphracts, like, they're okay units. They don't have that much HP, but they have a lot of Pierce armor. Their attack's also not that great, nor is their melee armor. So, like, they're still worse than Paladins, in my opinion. I guess we lost all the units that belonged to Basra Blayota originally. Duh. Let's just speed this up a bit. Hello, 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 hello. Whoa, why do you guys have so much attack? Hello, Ottoman messenger. Uh, what are you here to tell me today? Are there any other requirements? 
Greetings, esteemed prince. I am here to tell you that our Sultan Mehmet asked you to hand over the Chilea and Akerband and pay tribute to us, and you can no longer interfere with Wallachian affairs. Please also recognize the overall situation and do not confront our Ottoman Empire. You must know that even the mighty Eastern Roman Empire has been trampled under our feet. What a wishful thinking. Go back and tell your Sultan that no one can trample the land of Moldova, something, something, something. Uh, they have a huge army, and, uh, humph. Where are you going, my main man? Well, we have a relic, which is nice. Oh, yeah, I actually have to go over here. I hope we don't have to fight anything. No, Mr. Monk. You probably will die if you go this way. Oh. Whoa! Uh, the train is narrow. The Ottoman troops can't be deployed here. Uh, cavalry, go and attract the Ottoman army and lure them into the valley. Let's go destroy the Ottomans. We're going on an adventure to attack the Ottomans. It's the Moldovan army. Their main force is ahead. Hurry up. Come on. Going full Mongols here. Luring them into uh, an ambush. We have a crop post here. Oh, we actually have uh, some reserves over on the side. Fire! Damn it, we're ambushed. Hurry up and fight back. Don't stand together. Well, I mean, I don't even control the main forces here, so... Our ability to do anything useful here is uh, rather limited. Oh, hey, look at the trade carts coming in! Guys, we just want to trade! Anyway, it looks like we're winning pretty handily. We didn't even need to bring in these guys. Easy mode. Great job. In this foggy weather, they had no way to form a formation. It's not the only, not only the Ottomans who have cannons. Modified carriage. Lord Ali Bey, our vanguard was ambushed by Stephen and the entire army has been wiped out. What did you say? Our army was completely wiped out? Damn it. Now listen to my orders. Uh, something, something, something. They're attacking us. Oh, they have royal janissaries. Waiting for another attack from the Ottoman army. Well, I guess this one's going to be stronger. Why do you have a plus one attack? Wait. What? No. Uh, help out, please. Okay, now we get everybody. Uh, send in the reserves. Okay, here we are. We have five Hofnitsa. Wallachian well, Cavalry, we surrender. Go get them! Well, that's just Hofnitsa them. Oh boy! Oh, we're splatting them. How could we lose? Uh, Ali Bey is dead. Retreat. We can't beat Moldova. The Ottoman Empire is not invincible. As long as we make good use of the train, it is not difficult to defeat them. Let's push the Ottomans out of Moldova once and for all. Oh, there he is. Uh, something. I don't know why our town center is like just filled with villagers. Alrighty, now we get our uh, our eco going. Brick lasagna. 
All right, now we have a big old army. We have a really big old army, in fact. And with our Hofnitz, so we should probably be doing something aggressive right now. Like, we really should be. So what do we have to do? Um, defeat two Turkish armies, red and purple, or defeat one of the armies and destroy the castles and crepos of the Wallachian servants. Um, okay, well, Stephen III, you're going to enjoy a nice time in the castle. I don't have a lumber camp. Oh, here are the Wallachian servants. I guess the two Turkish armies are over here. Oh, there's Basarab Lyota. I mean, I feel like it would make more sense to go after both Turkish armies since they're seemingly kind of hanging around together. Anyway, we need to go do something aggressive, otherwise we're just wasting our army. Guess we can build a TC over that way. TC here, a TC there, a TC everywhere. Da. Get some fishy fish. Why not? We are still in the castle age. I mean, our army's pretty good. I mean, I imagine that theirs is better still, but... I mean, hopefully we can get something useful done here. Oh, go get that. Let's keep on keeping on. It's Moldova. Okay, here's the Turkish army. Steven is attacking our base. Oh, crap. I meant to have you go back over here. Um, I mean, that's a very big army. That's a very big army, in fact. Got a mining camp, if not for no other reason than the research. The relevant upgrades. Oh my god, are they going to be attacking me right now? Well, that didn't go so well. I guess we still have some units. Stirrups. Where are you going? Oops. Well, yeah, that didn't go so well. I mean, that's full post imp nonsense. Okay. 
Uh, I mean, we do have lots of towers. I actually have some extra attack, which is pretty nice. Okay. Just kind of group everyone back up. Okay, they're just attacking some random crap over here. Nuts. Please don't attack me right there. That would be rather mean. Nowhere near... Or, I have way too much stone income. I do not need anywhere near as much. Again, there's just very little space on the map, which is a bit tricksy. Oh, come on. That doesn't sound good. Something bad sounds like it's happening. Okay, whatever. Nothing you can knock me down and the Ottoman Empire will be afraid of your little Moldova. I have 6k gold in the bank. Okay, so what kind of army comp do we even want to go for? Konix for sure. Bow show. Pick up. I guess kind of like the last scenario, right? Uh, should keep us set for the time being. And of course, uh, Siege. I mean, siege monitors are fun to use, but I don't actually make them all that often in campaigns because the AI armies tend to, like, split up a bunch. Oh, we got you guys. That's nice. Just 22 idols, nothing to, uh, nothing to worry about. Alrighty. Um, ah, don't be a butt. Oops. Helm. Get elite Koenig. Repair. Oh boy. Oh, there's Basarab Lyota. Oh, that one looks like it's gonna fall. Uh, please keep building those. I would be very grateful.
The Ottoman army is too strong. I have no choice. I have to join you, Ottoman Empire. Sorry, Steven. You jerk face. All right. Let's get some trebs going. Get some rams going. Okay, let's let's deal with this goofball. Ram. I know it's kind of far away, but I really don't have much space with which to work. Do you have to stop me? There is no harm in following the Ottomans. Yes, there is. Lots of harm. I don't know, keep scouting around or something. Let's see if you can just randomly range that castle. Hopefully he'll become my friendo again once I uh, teach him a lesson with my new men at arms. Oh, awesome, we can range. And we just need to destroy one of the castles. Eh, he's not putting up too much of a fight. Okay, you're raiding me a little bit, which makes me less than happy. This does not spark joy. Oh, Boss Rob Leota is still in the castle age. What a pleb. All right, another trap rock, and we're good to go. Stop it, Lord Steven, I was wrong. I should not compromise the Ottoman Empire easily. Please let me go. I'm now willing to accept your leadership. Leota, this time you are acquaint... I think you mean acquitted. Well, if you dare betray me again, I will not show mercy. I mean, I guess they are acquainted, but I feel like they were acquainted before this. Another relic over here. We have 8k freaking gold, man. Um, I don't really have any. Oh, I do have army over here. What am I talking about? Oh my god, that's a big army. Okay. What's going to be frustrating is being able to get, like, forward production. Anyway, that's a pretty easy cleanup. Yo, stop it. Uh, we do have Bombards, but we don't need to worry about them right now. IMO. Let's use some more 
Vils. I mean, I only have 49 farmers. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff going on. Okay, I guess that's just full-on Slav Imperial Age. But hopefully Basarab Leota is just going to help us out now. Alrighty. Let's get you back. I predict that this army is going to get very little done in life. Okay, there's a bit more space over here. Okay, there's Basra Blyo to hit an Imperial Age. Let's get another castle over here. Right, time to go to town. Against a mining camp. I guess. What are you clowns doing? Oh my goodness. Try and get some of that going. Okay. Could be going worse, I guess. I want some more. Oh, did someone scoop up that relic? What a jerk. Anyway, we're making pretty good headway here. Whoa, 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 whoa what the heck? Oh, did those villagers die? That is unfortunate. Come and say, I don't have time to stay at a freaking hotel, man. Okay, let's Cooper army up a little bit. Should tack a bit into Hussars. Oh my god. Well, let's give her a go. Oh, you converted my frickin' thingy. Siege workshop. 
Hey, stop it, you! Don't be a butt! Guess she, I guess I should get her, she. Get some more swordsmen. Some more trebs. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, this time we're gonna end the video right here because we're at around 35 minutes in, and this is probably around the halfway point in the scenario, if I were to guess. A little more than an hour in. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.